me and today we're gonna be checking out some of the coolest and weirdest vending machines in only 35 seconds you can have fresh fries from this vending machine they fry each basket fresh so you just order it oh you can choose what you want on it too they will add the sauce and the fries what if I want the sauce on the side oh okay that actually looks delicious imagine having this outside your house 3 a.m. walk outside and we got the french fry machine 24 7 fresh fries there is a flower vending machine. <gasps> Those are so fancy. I thought it was gonna be like bouquets, but no, a floral puppy, a bear. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. This is like the perfect gift in a vending machine. I mean, so is like a bag of Funyuns, but you get it. I can't believe there's a vending machine that sells snowballs. And the snowballs are handmade, hand packaged in Minnesota. For the low price of a dollar, you can buy a Minnesota snowball. Those have been frozen, so they're probably like hard. Perfect for headshots. I know it sounds a bit useless, but the reason they made this is to prove that you can sell literally anything. As long as you market it correctly. Imagine putting this outside of a school. Bullying rates would skyrocket. Yo, what's the point of a snowball besides it being a weapon? Drizzle it with some blue raspberry and you got a snow cone. That works. Oh, say it ain't so. A puppy vending machine? I have $1.50. Is that all right? I want the Pomeranian. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I would have gotten too. Why we got a Pepsi logo? Pepsi got dogs now? Oh, they got it. And it looks exactly like the picture. Damn, oh, this is too good to be true. What's wrong with it? Check it for defects. Oh, it's so cute. I'm going to scream. And she got a really good deal on this one. It looks just like the picture. Oh. If only this was real and it was that easy. I would be swimming in puppies. We bought a car from a vending machine. I think Carvana is so cool. Every time I like fly over it or drive by it, I'm like, ooh, car vending machine. After you do all the paperwork and pay for it, they give you a coin. You insert it into the slot and out comes your car. You don't have to deal with a car salesman. That's so cool. Does the car drive itself out to you? Yeah, I did not think so. And it's crazy how these are basically like made of glass with a very strong foundation. Here we got a cotton candy vending machine. Open by one hand, catch candy by the other. Wait, I gotta catch the candy? You're a vending machine, you're supposed to vend it to me. You give it to me and I take it. So, oh, we got a robot that's gonna do this. So after you put in your money, the robot wakes up and gets to work. Ah, heck, here we go again. Time to roll some cotton candy. And it's just on a stick and it starts to roll. Oh, it shapes it too. This is gonna be one of those fancy ones. Like they can make like crazy shapes out of cotton candy. Dang. We got a whole range of movements like that one friend that gets in like the most awkward position to take the perfect picture of you but it's making the cotton candy oh i thought it was gonna be a heart it's not it's gonna be a flower they keep like folding it and it's done so meticulously wow uh you done yet i'm trying to eat my cotton candy how many times are you gonna spin this before i can put it in my mouth all right it's done chill oh you open it with one hand and then you take the cotton candy with the other oh but they did it with the same hand. Illegal. Good thing the cops weren't around. Oh, and then it makes like this design on it where it's like a flower, but it kind of looks like an, a perfectly cooked egg to me. It's got layers. Wow. What kind of vending machine is this? So they're gonna order from it, and I'm looking at the things like, are those prescriptions? Like, is this legal? And then you open it up and it looks like a prescription. Oh, they got some anti-COVID spray, which is just hand sanitizer. But it's packaged so cute. Cause you know, nothing beats up the germs like some anti-COVID hand sanny. Very effective. I don't know if they still have these around anymore, but when I was a kid, you used to put a quarter in these machines and they would pop out like cards or stickers and they were very satisfying. But now we got a Pokemon one. I feel like Pokemon cards are worth so much now. This has got to be an old video or something that you can buy them for a quarter. You know, I'm about to send a bill to my third grade teacher. Miss Traeger, I still remember your name. Where are my Pokemon cards that you confiscated from me and never returned that are probably worth thousands of dollars now? I'm coming for you. Put in a dollar and get a random Pokemon game? Those are Pokemon games. What? No way they're that cheap. You got two of them for a dollar? That's a steal. When you buy a drink from this vending machine, it also has a little lottery jackpot. So you put the money in, buy your drink, and then there's random numbers. And if you get four sevens, you get another drink for free. That's actually a really nice way to make somebody's day. Like, oh, I thought I was getting one drink, but two for the price of one, heck yeah. 
I've seen cupcake vending machines, but this is a full-on cake one with cake slices. They got rainbow cake slices. What? They're so beautiful. It's too pretty to eat. It has that much trust in the humans that it opens up. I haven't seen a vending machine open like this. You already know somebody's gonna like grab what they paid for and then like reach their hand in and like try to grab some more because people are greedy. You know the vending machines where you can like customize a dog tag? This one, you can actually customize a stamp. So you choose the font and then type in your initials or whatever you want the stamp to say. Choose your pen. This one was like $5. It customizes a stamper for you. You're probably like, what are you talking about, a stamper? I ain't seen no ink on it. So you bring it home, dip it into your ink, and wha bam, you got your own custom stamp. Mine would say P-E-E. -E. Or it could say Leah, L-I-A. Boy, what the hell? Why not put a convenience store in a vending machine? In Germany, they got eggs and drinks and meat inside a vending machine. Not one or two eggs. Like, we got a whole carton of eggs. We even got half a carton. Minimum six eggs. Okay, okay, you know what? How useful would this be, like, to be able to get eggs 24-7? That's what I'm saying. You got chickens in the back of that or something? Imagine a chicken, like, laying its egg and then popping them in the carton. And then once it fills the carton, restocks from the back. If only chickens were that advanced. Are you saying I could get fresh orange juice from a machine? You can see the oranges being pressed. Those are the oranges. Give them a round of applause. Those are the ones that got squeezed. Sacrifice for my morning juice. I love how you can just watch it get squeezed right in front of you. Oh, what's that? I can almost hear their screams. Here is an ice cream vending machine. You probably like, what's so special about that? These are like ice cream sundaes in a vending machine. Look how cute they are. And you can like pick which one you want, what flavor. You got a strawberry sauce, Oreo. And after you pay for it, you can see your ice cream being made. That cup, that's my cup, fills it up with a soft serve. So it's not pre-made. Like the robot that lives inside the machine makes it for you. It even squeezes out the sauce. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. So good, they ordered another one. I like the blue light, keeps the ice cream cold. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. That's a mango sauce with almonds. Bruh. I'm gonna drink my water and pretend I'm eating the ice cream. It didn't work. In Japan, you could buy an umbrella from a vending machine. It rains so randomly that this is actually very necessary. When I went to Japan, I had my umbrella stolen three times in one day. This is serious business. So you pay for it, open it up. It's like a little umbrella closet. There was another one behind there. If you really wanted to, you probably could. But we don't because we have class. In Japan, there is a rice vending machine. My parents would have been bonkers for this. So you pick how much rice you want and what kind of rice you want. You could pick like white rice, brown rice, and then it dispenses it out. Yay, it's raining rice. And then dumps it right into your bag. Not me trying to like scoop up every last grain. Can't wait to take this home and cook it. Lettuce and a vending machine. You ever just like walk off of a plane? I could really use a head of lettuce right now. <gasps> Perfect lettuce vending machine. And now once you've got your lettuce, let us eat. Meat vending machine. So you get to like scroll through the meat, like which one I want. Which part of the cow looked the best? Hamburger. Yes, I choose hamburger. I can't believe this is a real thing. Wow. Okay, that's very cool. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and love. Yes! And comment below the coolest vending machine. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.